Three to four cups of coffee a day doesn't hurt your heart. It protects it. But here's what nobody tells you. If you drag through mornings even after eight hours of sleep, if your blood pressure keeps climbing year after year, if your energy crashes hard every afternoon around 3 p.m., if you feel wired but somehow still exhausted, if brain fog hits you when you need focus most, the problem isn't coffee, it's how you're drinking it. Most coffee drinkers make the same three mistakes every single morning. And these mistakes don't just cancel the protection, they actually turn coffee against you. One mistake has to do with timing. One has to do with something you're adding without thinking. And one is so ridiculously simple, you'll wonder why no doctor ever mentioned it. Over 1.2 million people studied, 36 prospective cohort studies, two decades of data. The science is overwhelming. Coffee protects your heart, but only when you drink it the right way. In this video, I will reveal 10 hacks that change everything, starting with the one that removes a hidden danger from every single cup you drink. Quick question before we dive in. How many cups do you drink every day? Drop your number in the comments. I want to see who's already in the protection zone and who needs to adjust. Hack number one, the paper filter secret. There's something in your coffee raising your cholesterol right now, and you have no idea it's there. Unfiltered coffee contains oils called cafestol and kawel. French press, Turkish coffee, espresso. These brewing methods let those oils pass straight through into your cup. And with every sip, they can raise your LDL cholesterol over time. Not necessarily over years, with every single cup. Paper filters trap the vast majority of these compounds. Most of the deterpenes gets caught. A 20-year study published in the European Journal of Preventive Cardiology in 2020 tracked over 508,000 people. Filtered coffee drinkers had significantly lower cardiovascular death rates than unfiltered drinkers. Not slightly lower, significantly lower. And the difference was consistent across all age groups. Think of it like this. Unfiltered coffee sends oil straight into your bloodstream with each cup. Paper acts as a net, catching everything harmful before it ever reaches your arteries. The fix costs almost nothing. Pour your French press through a paper filter before drinking, or switch to pour over or drip. Same rich taste you love. Major protection added instantly. Now here's what surprised researchers even more than filtering. Hack number two, the dose. Sweet spot. More coffee isn't always better, but here's what shocked me. Less isn't safer either. There's a sweet spot, and it's probably higher than you'd ever guess. Research shows a U-shaped curve. Too little coffee gives minimal cardiovascular benefit. Too much creates new problems. Maximum heart protection sits right in the middle of that curve, three to four cups daily. That's the zone where protection peaks. A massive meta-analysis published in circulation in 2014, covering nearly 1.28 million people, found those drinking around 3.5 cups daily had 15% lower cardiovascular disease risk than non-drinkers. That translates to real reductions in heart attacks and strokes you can measure. One detail matters enormously here. One cup means eight ounces of brewed coffee. Not a 20 ounce travel mug, not a large from your favorite coffee shop. Measure your actual intake for a full week. Most people consume far more than they realize and completely miss the sweet spot. Permission granted to enjoy your coffee guilt-free. Just know your real numbers. Here's my challenge for you. Measure your coffee intake for seven days straight. Then drop your daily average in the comments. Are you undershooting the sweet spot or way overshooting it? I'm genuinely curious. What comes next changes everything most people think they know about coffee. Hack number three. The Light Roast Revelation. This explains why some coffee drinkers protect their hearts completely, while others drinking the exact same amount get almost nothing in return. And it's the complete opposite of what you'd expect. Coffee's heart protection comes from powerful antioxidants called chlorogenic acids. They fight inflammation throughout your body. They improve how your blood vessels function. They help regulate blood pressure naturally. These compounds are the entire reason coffee protects your heart in the first place. Here's what nobody ever talks about. Chlorogenic acids degrade rapidly with heat. The longer beans roast, the more of these compounds are reduced. By the time beans reach dark roast level, a significant portion of those heart-protecting compounds have been degraded. Dark roast looks stronger. 
tastes bolder, but the chlorogenic acid content? Significantly reduced, transformed in the roasting process. Same exact beans, same exact amount. Dramatically different effects on your heart. The only difference is how long they were roasted. Light or medium roast keeps more of what actually protects you. Same caffeine kick you're looking for. More chlorogenic acids per cup. Drinking dark roast daily means getting the bold taste with fewer chlorogenic acids. Cold brew preserves even more of these protective compounds if you want maximum benefit from every cup. If this just changed how you think about your morning cup, hit like right now. Most people go their entire lives without ever knowing this. The next two hacks deal with timing and getting these wrong stresses your heart every single morning without you realizing it. Hack number four, the morning timing mistake. When you drink coffee, matters as much as what you drink. Your body releases cortisol naturally every morning. This hormone wakes you up and raises blood pressure slightly as part of normal function. Drinking coffee during peak cortisol may stack caffeine on top of your body's natural stress response. It's like throwing gasoline on a fire already burning. Based on circadian biology research, some experts recommend waiting 90 minutes after waking. By then, cortisol drops from its morning spike. Coffee gives you energy without the cardiovascular stress. Blood pressure stays stable all morning. Second rule, stop all coffee at least six to eight hours before bed. Even if you fall asleep easily, caffeine disrupts deep sleep stages. Poor sleep damages heart health over time through inflammation and hormonal disruption. Protecting your sleep means protecting your heart. They're connected. Hack number five, the empty stomach trap. This one addresses the biggest concern about coffee, blood pressure. Caffeine does raise blood pressure temporarily, but the real damage comes from something most people do every single morning without a second thought. Drinking coffee on an empty stomach. When caffeine hits an empty stomach, absorption happens more rapidly. This can create a sharper blood pressure spike that stresses your entire cardiovascular system. Food slows this absorption and may help prevent the spike. Eat something first. Even a handful of almonds or a piece of fruit changes how your body handles caffeine completely. Try this tomorrow. Eat breakfast. Wait 90 minutes after waking. Then drink your filtered coffee. Notice the difference in how you feel versus drinking immediately on an empty stomach. Food first, then coffee. Blood pressure stays smooth while you get every benefit. Here's what most people miss entirely. What you ADD to coffee might matter more than the coffee itself. The next five hacks reveal exactly what helps and what hurts. Number four is something almost nobody has heard of. Hack number six, the cinnamon multiplier. What you add can multiply coffee's heart benefits dramatically or destroy them. Ceylon cinnamon has been shown to help regulate blood sugar and reduce inflammation throughout your cardiovascular system. A quarter teaspoon creates a powerful combination that costs almost nothing. One warning, cassia cinnamon, the common grocery store type, contains coumarin. Regular consumption of large amounts may stress your liver over time. Ceylon cinnamon, labeled true cinnamon, gives you every benefit without this concern. Better taste, stronger protection, simple addition. Hack number seven, the cacao amplifier. Raw cacao transforms ordinary coffee into something much more powerful. Cacao contains flavonoids that have been shown to improve blood vessel flexibility and lower blood pressure naturally. Combined with coffee's chlorogenic acids, these compounds create effects greater than either provides alone. Add one tablespoon of unsweetened raw cacao. Stir until dissolved. Tastes like a mocha without sugar or inflammatory dairy. A study in the British Journal of Nutrition found cocoflavanols significantly improved flow-mediated vasodilation, a direct measure of blood vessel health. Your morning coffee becomes cardiovascular support. Hack number eight, the collagen connection. This hack addresses something happening inside your arteries right now and almost nobody knows about it. Your blood vessels contain collagen. This protein gives artery walls their flexibility. As you age, collagen production drops, arteries stiffen, resilience decreases. Collagen peptides added to coffee may support arterial health from inside. One to two scoops dissolve completely. No taste change. 
Research in the Journal of Atherosclerosis and Thrombosis found collagen tripeptide supplementation improved arterial stiffness markers in healthy adults. Coffee becomes a delivery system for what aging blood vessels may need. Hack number nine, the magnesium balance. Coffee has one real downside, almost nobody discusses openly. Caffeine can increase urinary excretion of magnesium from your body. Magnesium controls heart rhythm and blood pressure regulation. Without enough, your heart can't function optimally. Coffee's diuretic effect may cause additional magnesium loss through urine. Heavy coffee drinkers may develop deficiency without any symptoms until problems appear. The fix takes seconds. Take magnesium with your coffee or add magnesium-rich foods to breakfast. Almonds, spinach, avocado, all work. Aim for 310 to 420 milligrams daily from all sources, depending on your sex. Magnesium glycinate or citrate absorb best. This single habit helps prevent coffee's main cardiovascular downside. Hack number 10, the inflammation swap. What you add determines whether coffee helps or hurts long-term. Remove these. Sugar spikes blood glucose and triggers body-wide inflammation. Artificial sweeteners may disrupt gut bacteria in ways that affect cardiovascular function. Commercial creamers contain inflammatory oils your heart doesn't need. Add these instead. Raw honey in small amounts provides antioxidants rather than empty calories. Coconut cream or grass-fed butter replaces inflammatory dairy. Unsweetened almond milk adds creaminess without the inflammatory response. Every cup is a choice. Make it count. The complete protocol. You don't need everything at once. Build in stages. Stage one, zero cost, immediate results. Paper filtered, light or medium roast. 90 minutes after waking, food first. Stop caffeine six to eight hours before bed. These five changes alone deliver significant heart protection starting tomorrow. Stage two, simple additions. Seal on cinnamon and raw cacao. Better taste plus amplified benefits. Most people feel different within one week. Stage three. Advanced optimization. Collagen for arterial support. Magnesium to prevent depletion. Replace all inflammatory additions. Start stage one tomorrow morning. Add stage two when those changes feel automatic. Graduate to stage three when you're ready to fully optimize. Your new morning. Coffee doesn't damage your heart. It protects it. When you drink it correctly. Paper filtered. Light roast. Three to four cups measured accurately. 90 minutes after waking. Food first always. Cinnamon or cacao to amplify. Magnesium to balance. Over 1.28 million people studied across 36 studies. The science is clear. Now you know exactly how to get maximum protection from every cup you drink. Final question. Which hack surprised you most? Drop it below. I read every single comment and I'm genuinely curious what changed your thinking. If this transformed how you think about your morning routine, what comes next will take it even further. There's an ancient remedy that amplifies everything you just learned. It reduces inflammation throughout your entire system and enhances how your body absorbs nutrients. Healers used it for over 3,000 years. Modern research is finally catching up to what they knew all along. Watch next, the 10 biggest black seed oil benefits you've been missing for years and how to use it right. Click now. I'll see you there.